In this video, we are going to discuss about non-deterministic finite automata. In short, we can call as yes, NFA examples. Uh, totally, we are going to discuss uh, these 10 examples. Let us see the first example. Construct NFA for the strings starting with 0, 1. So, here the, uh, the input alphabet contains two symbols, 0 and 1. So, first we have to construct the language before constructing the NFA. So, L is equal to, here what is the problem? Here the string starts with 0, 1. So, 0, 1 is the uh, minimum length string. String starts with 0, 1. After that, we can have any number of zeros and 1s. So, 0, 1. So, next let we have 0. Next 0, 1. Let we have 1. Next 0, 1. So, string of uh, 2 characters. So, 0, 0. 0, 1. 0, 1. 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, here all these strings are starting with 0, 1. So, after that we can have any number of zeros and 1s. Okay. So, this is the language. Uh, next, we have to construct the NFA. So, here the length of the minimum string is 2. So, we require 2 plus 1, 3 states. Why? Because here, what is the minimum uh, uh, minimum string here? The minimum possible length here is 2. So, 2 means we require 2 plus 1. So, we require 3 states. Let the first state is Q0. Second state is Q1. Third state is Q2. So, this is the final state where Q0 is the initial state. So, here we have to apply 0, 1. So, 0 on Q0 means we will move to Q1 state. 1 on Q1 means here we are moving to Q2 state. Here the string starts with 0, 1. After that we can have any number of zeros and 1s. So, on Q2 just uh, apply the self loop. So, 0, 1. Okay. Let us take any string. Let us consider this one. 0, 1, 1, 0. So, let us apply 0. So, we will move to the Q1 state. Now let us apply 1, we will move to the Q2. Next let us apply 1, so we will be in Q2 state only. Let us apply 0, so we will be in Q2 state only. So Q2 is nothing but the final state. So in this way we can design NFA for the string starting with 0, 1. Now let us see the second problem. So what is the second problem? Strings, strings ending with 0, 1. So strings ending with ending with 0 1 0 1 so first let us uh, construct the language let us write the language l is equal to 0 1 here the strings ends with 0 1 so before 0 1 we can have any number of zeros and any number of ones so strings ending with 0 1 so before 0 1 we can have any number of zeros and any number of ones so, there is no restriction on that. So, 0, 1. Let us take uh, uh, string of uh, 2, length of 2. So, 0, 0. Next, 0, 0, 1, 0. So, likewise, uh, we can have n number of uh, strings. Uh, now, let us design the NFA. Here, the minimum string is 0, 1. So, length of the minimum string is 2. So, here the length is 2. So, we require 2 plus 1, 3 states. So, the possible states here, here, are, here are Q0, Q1, Q2. So, Q0 is the initial state, whereas Q2 is the final state. Now, let us apply 0, 1. 0, 1. Okay. If we apply 0 on Q0, we are moving to Q1 state. Let us apply 1 on Q1. So, here we are moving to Q2 state. Next here, here the strings are starting ending with 0, 1. So, before 0, 1 we can have any number of zeros and any number of ones. So, simply we can apply the self loop. We can apply the self loop. So, before 0, 1, we can have any number of zeros and any number of ones. So, let us share, let us take one string. Let us take uh, this string, 3001. So, 3001, okay. So, 3001 means 
So let us apply 0 on Q0. So we will be at Q0 only. Next let us apply 0 on Q0. We will be at Q0 only. Next to 0, 1. Let us apply 0 on Q0. So we will move to the Q1 state. Now let us apply 1 on Q1. So we will move to the Q2 state. So Q2 is nothing but final state. Okay. So in this way we can design NFA for ending with. So it may be 0, 1 or A, B or X, Y. So for all the problems the solution is same only. Now next example substring 0, 1. So we have to design NFA for the strings whose substring is what? 0, 1. So let us design the, let us write the language. So 0, 1. So here before 0, 1 we can have any number of 0's and 1's. After 0, 1 also we can have any number of 0's and 1's. So there is no restriction on that. So 0, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0. So likewise we can write a number of strings. Okay. So here the minimum uh, possible, uh, here the minimum string is 0, 1. So this minimum string length is 2. So we require 2 plus 1, 3 states. So the 3 states are Q0, Q1, Q2. So let us apply 0, 1. Here this is the substring. Substring is 0, 1. So before 0, 1 we can have any number of zeros and 1s. So after 0, 1 also we can have any number of zeros and 1s. So simply apply the self loop. Okay. So in this way we can design for design the NFA for the substrings. Now let us see the next example. The next example is third symbol from the right end is A. So third symbol, third symbol from right end is A. Here the input alphabet contains two symbols. They are A comma B. So here third symbol from the right end is A. So we will have third symbol means three symbols. So here we, mu we must require three plus one. We must require four states. So first uh, let us draw some skeleton. So four states. So Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. So Q3 is nothing but final state. Q0 is nothing but initial state. Third symbol from the right end is A. So this is the... Uh, rightmost symbol next to second rightmost one third rightmost so third symbol from the right end is a and after that if we apply we can apply a b and q1 if we apply a b and q1 then we will we, we will go to the q2 likewise we can apply a b and q2 so we will go to the q3 state next here before this the third symbol from the right end is a so before this we can have any number of a's and b's okay so here, third symbol from the right end is A. So before this A, we can have any number of A's and B's. There is no restriction on that. So we can apply the self loop A, B, A, B. Okay. Uh, let the string is like this. B, A, B, A. So let us apply B on Q0. We will be at uh, Q0 only. Let us apply A on Q0. We will move to the Q1 state. Let us apply B on Q1. We will move to the Q2 state. Let us apply A and Q2. We will move to the Q3 state. Q3 is nothing but final state. So in this way we can design the DFA. Now let us see the next example. Let us see the next example. Double 1 is followed by double 0. So here the alphabet contains two symbols. They are 0 and 1. So here directly the problem is given. Double 1s is followed by double 0. So 1100 0 is the minimum string. So here the length of the minimum string is 4. So 4 means we require 5 states. So we require 5 states. So Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. 5 states. So Q4 is the final state. Q0 is the starting state. So double 1 is followed by double 0. So 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay. And before 1, 1, 0, 0, we can have any number of zeros and 1s. There is no restriction on that. So let us apply the self loop 0, 1. After double 1, double 0, we can have any number of zeros and 1s. There is no restriction on that. So let us apply the self loop. So in this way, we can solve the problem. Now let us see the next example. So what is the next example? String containing either 0, 1 or 1, 0. So string must contain either 
जीरो वन और वन जीरो जीरो वन और वन जीरो ओके सो हियर फॉर जीरो वन वी रिक्वायर हाउ मेनी स्टेट्स जीरो वन मीन्स लेंथ इज टू सो टू प्लस वन मीन्स वी रिक्वायर थ्री स्टेट्स सो क्यू नॉट क्यू वन क्यू टू सो स्ट्रिंग कंटेन्स जीरो वन सो जीरो वन ओके सो बिफोर दिस जीरो वन we can have any number of zeros and ones so there is no restriction on that so zero one so after zero one also we can have any number of zeros and ones or what is the second string one zero for one zero let us move uh, uh, let us write the transitions like this so one if we apply one then we will go to q2 state is over q3 next if we apply zero then we will go to the Q4 state. Here Q4 is the final state for this transition. One zero. So string starts with either zero one, zero one or one zero. So after one zero, we can have any number of zeros and ones. So there is no restriction on that. Okay. So this is the NFA which accepts the strings containing either zero one or one zero. Okay. So in this way we can draw the NFA. Now let us see the next example. Starting with one and ends with zero, so starts with one and ends with zero. So here the minimum string string is what one zero. So one zero means uh, uh, length is two. So the possible uh, number of states are two plus one three. So we require three states. So Q not Q one Q two. So string starts with one, ends with zero. Starts with one, ends with zero. Here after the zero, we can have uh, any number of zeros. There is no problem. Uh, here we may have zero here also. So one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. So uh, here the string starting with one, ends with zero. So if we apply one, then we will move to the Q1 state. Next, if we apply zero, we will go to the Q2 state. Next, if we apply zero on Q2, we will be at Q2 only. so for for that purpose here we have taken one here in between one and zero we can have any number of ones here the constraint is the string starts with one and ends with zero so in between one and zero we can have uh, any number of ones so let us apply one if we apply zero then we will go to the q2 state and here we may have a situation like this 1 0 1 0 1 so 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so here the string is starting with one ends with zero So if we apply one on Q not, we will move to the Q one state. If we apply zero on Q one, uh, we will move to the Q two state. And after that, we have to apply one on Q two. So likewise here, let us apply one on Q two. So we will move to the Q one state. We will move to the Q one state. Next, let us apply zero. So zero, Q two state. Next one zero. So Q two will be the final state. So in this way, we can solve the problem. Okay. so here this is nfa for the strings which starts with one and ends with zero okay now let us see the uh, remaining three examples so l is equal to here directly the language is given so l is equal to 0 power m 1 power n such that m is greater than or equal to 0 and n is greater than or equal to 1 m is greater than or equal to 0 whereas n is greater than or equal to 1 let us consider m as 0 n as 1 then what is the string here 0 power m means 0 so 0 power 0 means zero number of zeros next 1 power n n value is 1 so 1 power 1 means single one okay so here the string is 1 okay so if we apply so here the string length is 1 So one means we require how many states? One plus one, two states. So Q not Q one. So if we apply one on the Q not, then we will move to the Q one state. So this Q one is the final state. Now let us take one more scenario. Let m is equal to one, n is equal to two. M is equal to one, n is equal to two. So zero power one. So zero power one means single zero. N is equal to two. That means one power two. One power two means two ones. So zero double one, zero double one. Okay. So here we have zero double one. So we, if we apply zero on Q naught, then we will be at Q naught state only. 
if we apply 1 on q0 we will move to the q1 state next if we apply 1 on q1 then we will be at q1 state only okay let us take one more scenario and check whether it is correct or not m is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 so m is equal to 2 means 0 power 2 that means two zeros n is equal to 3 means 1 power 3 1 power 3 means 3 ones 3 ones so apply 0 on q0 we will be at q0 only apply 0 on q0 we will be at q0 only apply 1 on q0 we will move to the q1 state apply 1 on q1 we will be at q1 only apply 1 on q1 we will be at q1 only q1 is the final state so this is the valid string now let us see the next problem so what is the next problem here also some expression is given some language is given a b whole power n with n is greater than or equal to 1 with n is greater than or equal to 1 a b whole power n with n is greater than or equal to 1 so if n is equal to 1 then what is the string a b whole power 1 so that is nothing but a b so here the minimum possible string is a b so a b means length is 2 so we require 3 states so q0 q1 q2 so q2 is the final state a b okay next if n is equal to 2 then a b a b a b a b so a b a b okay so next here a is applied here next b is applied here next let us uh, make a transition like this so if we apply a and q0 we will move to the q1 state if we apply b on q1 we will move to the q2 state next if we apply a on q2 we will move to the q1 state if we apply b on q1 we will move to the q2 so q2 is the final state likewise if n is equal to 3 a b a b a b so a b a b a b so this is the finite automata in this way we can construct let us see the last example the last example is a b whole power n a b whole power n with n is greater than or equal to 0 with n is greater than or equal to 0 a b whole power n whereas in the previous problem n value is 1 but here n is starting from 0 onwards so if n is equal to 0 then a b whole power 0 is nothing but empty string it is empty string so some pi symbol empty string so that means uh, the initial state should also become final state okay why because without applying any symbol also we have to get the final state okay next if n is equal to 1 then same a b if n is equal to 2 then a b a b so let us draw the diagram so q naught q1 here the both the states are final states q naught is the final state as well as q1 is also the final state okay so let us apply a here b here okay first one is n is equal to 0 that means here we didn't apply any symbol but we are at the final state only the initial state is the final state okay next uh, a b so if you apply a and q naught we will go to the q1 next if you apply b and q1 we will move to the q naught so q naught is nothing but final state okay so in this way uh, we can solve uh, uh, problems uh, by using the nfa so this is about uh, uh, nfa examples